bush like me. They dead man. They're still behind me. God, they're right behind me. Come on. Magdugal. Hi guys and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So we're on part two. On part one, our um, our mum and dad died by the Kuman army, which was led by Sigmund. So uh, but yeah, we're on the run now. So let's carry on. Let's just resume. Here we goes. We got running away. We got a sword or anything? We have got a sword. We could uh, equip it now. Or not equip it. How do you equip our sword? Hang on, go, hang on, guys. <laughs> Main hand. I just just go press one to equip it. Aha! Here we go. Right. So let's have a little. Oh, there's a guy here. Look. <sighs> oh! Oh! Wow! He, he's still. Oh! Wow! It's quite hard. Oh! Um! Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Right, I think I'm supposed to run because there's no way he was hard unless I'm absolutely crap. Right, let's run. So where are we supposed to be going? Just anywhere? I get my sword out. Where's my sword? Uh, is he chasing us? No, let's have a look at the map a second. We're, so we're here. We've run around the sides around here. So I don't know, I guess we're just running out of skeletons, are we? Oh, we're here going, going here. Wow, we got right to, to where? Right to Talmberg. Okay, oh, some poppers. So I'm not sure. What, are these guys over there? Are they the Cumans as well? Right. Drawn weapons causes fear among villagers and sitters they may even call a guard. You pigs! Don't touch me or I'll kill you! Where's that coming from? Go to hell, you tatar beast! What are they doing to her? Oh shit, I can't do anything. They've got three of them there. Shit, make this whore. You can call your horse anytime. That's Teresa. You can call your horse anytime by whistling and then mount it. Um, caps lock. Walks your horse. A chance to recover. Walk your horse. All right, let's just do it. Let's do it. Right. Let's go. Gallop. They come in. Have a look. Oh, <laughs> let's have a look. Not with my head. Yeah, they're there. Right. It's the it's the problem having a VR headset and then suddenly realising you haven't got one on. I mean, I can't just do that. That's brutal. In the leg. Come on, Henry, we can make this. Oh, we have to, don't we? This is a story. Right, you're bleeding and you don't know how to bandage your wounds. You need to find someone who can help you. I'm bleeding. I must go a bit faster. Are they behind me? Oh, they're right behind me. Can we go faster? I feel like I'm not going fast enough. I've discovered Rovna. Are oh, they killing all these people as well? They go. Oh God. All oh, right. Okay. I need to double tap the left shift to gallop. But I got to watch the horse's stamina. Left. Halmer gets to the left along the stream. Okay. Left along the stream. 
Uh, that looks like me. They're dead, man. They're still behind me. God, they're right behind me. Come on. Mac Douglas. Right, okay. But whilst we're running away, um, I looked at my first video and uh, I'm waiting for some key lights because I noticed the shading was kept going off in dark and light depending on the on the monitor. I've actually ordered some and it was supposed to be delivered. It's today's Sunday. It should have been delivered on Thursday. And they're actually delivered... I live in one part of the UK. They're actually delivered like 100 miles away. Run for it. Unfortunately, I got no key lights for the time being. Oh God! No, he's gonna kill me again. Oh God! Yeah, so I, I, I thought I'd go with both feet with this YouTube. So I bought, I bought this new camera. And uh. I've got some acoustic panels I need to stick on the wall. And it's very vibratey in here. Right, my stamina is. Oh god, I keep stopping. Oh shit! Right, so the green one's my horse's stamina. God, am I gonna die at this rate, aren't I? Oh, that was close. Get your asses there! Hey! Get your asses there! Loose! Hey! 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 Who's who's in there? God, that face mask has got on that armor. Pretty um. Quickly, we're closing the gate. Okay, so we're where are we now then? Tamburg? Is it Tamburg? He's on his last legs, isn't he? Not looking too good. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Hot wine? Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Humans. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. With your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Yeah! Well, that would hurt. Oh. Hurt. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Lord Divish. Hey. Quite long cutscenes. Like, uh... This is Lord Divish, I assume. Sir, 
This is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Okay, so we're here in Tamburg. Tamburg. Um, with Lord Davish. Right to Tamburg. Talmberg. Right, so our new objective is talk to Sir Robard. So he was a guy who helped bandage us. You fast travel point found. There was something which I didn't do on the last episode. I remember we got um a point in the main level. In fact, I only saw that on the replay of the first video, and I thought, ah, oh, I didn't, I didn't um didn't assign any. I didn't level up. So let's have a quick look to see what we got. Aesthetic. Um, you'll last 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. Hmm. Don't like that. That seems a bit weird. Like, it's like, you give a positive, but we can give you a negative as well. When you're dirty, you have 50% more charisma when talking to women. When you're dirty. However, people will smell you a mile off. Don't like that either. Generate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Stamina. No. Increase the sight distance of fast travel, so you notice events on the way sooner and your chances of evading. Yeah, I like that actually. Um, and that's talking about beds as well. The worse the bed, the better sleep, and, and vice versa. So I think scout is like the best option, to be honest, on there. So let's just do that. Um, oh, we've got first aid. Oh, we have first aid anyway, anyway don't we? Right, okay. That's enough. We've got nothing else, have we? Right, that's it. Right, okay, so we definitely need to increase our sword fighting, because having a go with that cumin earlier, it was, uh, he made mincemeat of us. So let's go find, um, is it Robard? There we go, here's Davish. Oh. Private area, back up. No, it's uh, it's lovely. This kind of um, art, you know, the artwork and stuff. It does feel very medieval. Right, let's go and have a little chat with. Hello, young sir. I oh, know we can't talk to him. Right, so where's this robot then placed? Oh, hello, sir Divish. Maybe it's in here. Oh, let's have a look at a map. Oh no, it's over there. Look, look at B. Oops. Oops, so he's here. Oh, so, so, Sir Robard. Look at Sir Robard. Oh, he's down there, look. Hello? You've done well, lad. 
I'm sorry for your loss. Please you must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. Okay, we go to the kitchen now. I can't understand why he'd waste his talent. But... Oh look, we got debuffs. We're hungry and... He had a fine reputation. We need to sleep. It's a great loss. Okay, can I just help myself then? We're here. Um, I'll just talk to somebody. Oh, I'm about to pass out here. Where's the kitchen then? God. Right, okay, I'm in the kitchen now. Ah, oh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honoured. Stephanie of so Talmberg. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you? I'm quite peckish, master. actually. Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. It's almost like Sir Robard. Is it Sir Robard? Like he doesn't like us or something. Sir Robard. Oh, yeah. Must. Eat. Eat. Lentil mash. Lentil. What was it say? Lentil mash. It says eat this. Oh, we could have like, eaten about apples. Oh, it's got um a condition as well. Let's eat that. Got nourishments at two points. Four points. I see this bread roll. We got 0.3 groschen. That's terrible. Right, lentil mash. Let's have a bit of that. Lovely jubbly. We're on 20 nourishment now, so we need a bit more food. Oh, we're nearly passing out still. This duck. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. All right, Henry. Oh, I like a bit of duck. Red roll. Cheese. Oh, this is like lovely food. Let's go and eat some of that. What we asked, we got a pot of food as well we can grab from. Yeah, eat from pot. Looks like a chili con carne or something. So we're still, we're still only 45. We have to eat a lot more than what we just. Let's have some wine. You're that lad from Scallets. What in heaven's name happened there? Who are you looking at? I'm over here. <laughs> it's a good game, right? And it is really a good game. But there's certain flaws in the AI. I don't want to talk about... Oh, it was awful. They torched Rovner. Oh, I've got a... Um, I've got a, a fine sunny day until Sigismund came with his army. I saw him sitting there with his red beard and proud posture as he gave the signal to attack. Oh, no. Station gains. So, um, I didn't make it inside the castle. I fled to the castle, but my parents were killed. But looking at that, I get a six. I'm not sure what this is doing. It, I don't sure what I get from this. I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me, I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They, they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. My God, that's horrible. 
You were lucky to survive. I know. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. I could do with a bite to eat. I think she likes me. Right, let's eat more food then, because Henry still isn't full up. Let's have some more cheese. We're going to have nightmares of all the cheese we're eating tonight. In fact, we have to actually eat it as well, don't we? So let's have some cheese. Well, we've got to eat a lot of food. Let's have bread roll as well. Let's have roast duck. Don't, don't want to get fat. Oh, look at that. I'm going to be fat now. Yeah, I got the fat. Um, oh, I'm going to fall asleep. Where's our bed? Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep there until morning. Oh, I'm going to pass out if I'm like, I don't hurry up. A, 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 A. This side. This our lodge here. Oh, we're actually falling asleep. Right, so tiredness. If you are tired, which we obviously are, um, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually increase, which is why I had a minus one when I spoke to that woman. I guess. Sleep is the solution. Find... Oh. Right, let's go quickly go to bed. I'm, I'm sitting. I don't want to... Oh, sorry. Sleep. I see you again. No, sleep for... Oh, I think my son's at the door. Let's sleep for... Look at my energy here. You can't sleep any longer than that. Right, okay. Start. E. 11 hours sleep. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Sneft, uh, Stephanie lady, Talenberg. Um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Oh yeah. It's just what you need. He's going to try to get sleep. me drunk. I think. My lady. <clears throat> Andrew's a good-looking chap. Thank you. you I really don't blame her. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Okay. There's no people in the screen, just a wall. Um, should I tell the story of the raid, or...? I should do. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. This isn't right, is it? It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Okay, um, I went to collect a debt. A fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to Father, who it's sent weird. me to collect it from him. Only Kunesh had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. 
but Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Why is... What's happened to Henry? He's not sitting on his bed. Uh, Sir Radzik came to look for the sword. God, the, the sword, sword was taking tight. shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. She's the the Sigismund's like horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Um, oh God, there's, there's too much. There was a huge horde of attackers. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Um, I saw them kill my girl Bianca. No, I killed the... Oh yeah, Father Bianca's dead. to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Right, okay. Um, I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Yeah, but it would do, wouldn't it? That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. It's a long story, this isn't it? Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. 
And even then he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Hey, Stephanie. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night and God bless. Good night, my lady. Stephanie wants a bit of the younger man. So Davish is quite old. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? I can't see. What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Right, go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. I will do. Um on the next episode guys because that was a quite a long episode of just like cut scenes and stuff and uh, so now we're at Tamburg here we've met um, uh, Sir Davish and his wife Stephanie of Tamburg and uh, Sir Robard um, so I guess this is where the, the story kind of starts now around Tamburg um, so yeah anyway if you like the uh, if you like the video um, then yeah please subscribe or, or like it and like it and um, I will try to put these videos out three times a week Monday Wednesday and a Friday uh, from now on so um yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next part thank you very much guys see ya bye bye